All right, so flash block. <clears throat> First of all, what is flash? We're blocking it. What is it? So flash is an unsecured program that runs on your computer. Somebody else wrote it. Somebody else's website has it. And they're saying, hey, here, go run this. It's kind of like, you know, you want to go buy something from a company and they say, hey, put this in the middle of your living room. Don't worry. We're okay. Um, so from the end user perspective, from the desktop person's perspective, that's not really a secure thing to do as far as I'm concerned. Um, especially since Flash does a bunch of things under the hood that are difficult to see from the desktop perspective. Uh, Flash is an unsecured program that can leave data on your computer. Flash cookies. This is one of the things I don't like about it. It hides cookies. We should all be familiar with cookies as far as a web browser goes at this point. Um, and there are cookie programs for blocking cookies or for, for removing them. Uh, Flash does things in a different way, and it can store more context than normal cookies, so they can track you uh, more directly. Um, there is also no protections to keep cross-site cookies from taking place. So with Flash, I can track you across multiple websites more easily than I can with normal browser cookies. Um, and I find this to be an insecure mechanism, uh, especially if Advertiser use, advertisers are using this, and I'm allowing advertisers to run Flash on my web browser, then they are tracking what I'm doing, not just when I'm looking at their stuff. Um, as I say, it's an, as I have here, it's an unsecure program that can track you. Through these cookies, they can leave resident information on your computer to keep track of who you are uh, it, as you go from place to place. Um, and of course, it is a way to advertise to you. This is the, what the advertising portions of it are. Um, but it's also a way for you to play games. There are certain things that Flash, that are done in Flash that are quite useful. So I'm not going to say that Flash is evil. Um, I think there are better ways to do things. Uh, back in the day when Flash first started out, there weren't necessarily better ways. Uh, but today there are better ways to, to bring the same functionality. Um, but there are certain times when Flash is, uh, you know, it can be enjoyable. There can be things that you can do with Flash um, as, as a desktop user um, that work out. So what is Flash Block? Uh, it's, it is a plugin, Firefox plugin, that allows you to control which Flash plug, plug, or programs can run. Um, it is a Firefox plugin that blocks Flash from automatically running. So when you go to a website that has Flash content on it, it doesn't automatically start running. It doesn't start putting cookies and other data on your, uh, on your computer. It doesn't start tracking you. It doesn't have permission to do anything at that point. It is also a simple interface for allowing the Flash programs that you want to run, to run. So you can fairly easily say, I want this Flash program to work, and use it. So what does it do? It blocks a, uh, a Flash program from starting automatically, as I said already. It creates an obvious block the same size as the Flash object. So in other words, it reserves the same space that the Flash object would have had, and that means it's not a affecting page flow. So if you're going to a site that is like exclusively or mostly exclusively a Flash uh, object, you will see that same space reserved. Uh, if, there's a, if there's an ad on the side, the same thing. Um, for the ad, you might not care and you let it go away. But if you're looking for the main content, which happens to be a Flash object, uh, then you want to be able to see what space it would be taking. You want to be able to see it. If it makes it really small so you can't even tell it's there, then it makes it difficult to use. Um, and then it provides in that space an obvious button for allowing the Flash pro program to run. So this is what it looks like blocking the content. Uh, YouTube is actually moving to HTML5. It's getting rid of the, uh, supposedly someday, getting rid of the uh, Flash uh, uh, interface for it or moving away from it. Um, but for right now, that is the primary interface for looking at videos uh, via YouTube. And the video takes up the major portion of the screen real estate when you go to a site. Uh, or go to, to look at a video. Um, the Flash plugin is taking that same amount of space, reserving that same real estate on the, on the web page, um, but it's not starting the Flash applet. It's not running. Um, but it gives you a big button, or a fairly large button, that you can then click on to go ahead and look at the context. And this is Flash Block, not blocking. So here I clicked on the F, and it started to, uh, it allowed the uh, Flash contents to start. In this case, it started playing the video. Uh, this is Evan Moglin talking at a, a university uh, a couple weeks ago, I believe. Um, so I can fairly easily uh, get to it. Uh, if there is a ad going on on the same page, 
that is not playing and just uh, distracting me. And kind of importantly for me as well, um, I don't have both of them giving me sound at the same time. Um, because if something moving off to the side is distracting, something else talking at the same time is bad. I don't need... I might like video games. I might like the, the, the metal that they all, that often come with video games, actually much more than the video games themselves. Um, however, if I'm trying to listen to Ed Muglin talk, having some ad with, with some diehard metal going at full blast is going to interfere with me listening to the talk. Uh, this is an example. I couldn't find uh, uh, any, uh, quickly find any actual examples of uh, flash banner ads anymore. I don't look at them, and, and so... Uh, I couldn't remember sites that use them. Uh, I know it used to be really common. I don't know if it still is anymore. Um, but here's a place that's showing nice banner ads. I have no idea what they are because I didn't allow any of them. Um, but I wanted to show you where it can be blocking multiple items. Uh, unfortunately, the way, that w the way that I blocked the video or the, the picture, you can't tell that the lower left is another flash item that's being blocked. So it's blocking multiple items at the same time. Uh, I don't know what happens on that page if all of them play at the same time. Do you, you know, get ten advertisements all talking to you at the same time? I don't know. Uh, this is the Flashback add-on page. As I sent, mentioned, it is part of the official uh, um, uh, Mozilla Firefox add-on repository. Uh, so when you go to add-ons in Firefox, you will be able to, to go search for Flashback and, able, and find it there and install it from directly from uh, their add-on site. Their add-on site is by default allowed to install um, add-ons. Uh, so you can do that without having to authorize any extra um, pieces. The one thing you have to do is you will have to authorize uh, the plugin being installed. If you're not familiar with that, when you bring up the please please add this plugin, uh, it delays for a few seconds before making the button available, making it more difficult for somebody to do any click jacking or something like that or accidentally install something they weren't wanting to install. All right, that was quick and painless, but I wanted to also do a demonstration of how Ubuntu has been having problems recently. All right, um, in the Moscow. Where am I? I'm over there. There we are. So this is the. Evan Logan video. Again, we get the icon. We can just click on that and we start getting whatever the flash content is. In this case, it's him talking. There is no so it's fairly easy to use. Um, now, there are some other uh, plugins that can interfere or change how Flash plugin works a little bit. Uh, flash plugin has a uh, sentence about not working very well with no, no script. Um, it says it doesn't work with no script. It does. I use them both all the time. You just have to click an extra time in order to use it because you have to say yes, no script, allow flash block to run, and then flash block goes and unblocks. Um, but I run both that way in case I ever accidentally forget one. I've still blocked it uh, one way or the other. All right, any questions about uh, flash block or flash or any of those things in general? All right. Is there any way to always allow flash version in sight or maybe just stage? Um, I'm certain there is, but I don't care to, so I don't. Um, flash block, I think, has a filtering mechanism, um, but if it doesn't, NoScript definitely does, and NoScript will also block, block flash, so you could use the, the whitelist uh, from NoScript in order to block from everywhere but here. So, for instance, you could always allow YouTube. But I think... Flashblock will has a way to say always allow YouTube. I just don't want it to. So, any other questions? Uh, All right. Does Flashblock have any facilities in there to clear any flashes you might already have? I have not found that in Flashblock, but there are other plugins that we'll cover in future months that do go through and, and remove those, um, including other uh, plugins that will warn you that they're being set. Um, so you can co more closely monitor uh, what is being done um, since Firefox does not have that capability natively. 